In this video, I'll be covering our group managers. The group managers are found under System Setup, Group Managers. The group managers are used to organize your forms, graphs, logbooks, and reports. They allow you to put them into folders. They allow you to then say who can use the forms and graphs in those folders to help you organize your system and keep it simple so that everybody doesn't have to see all forms. So in this case I'm going to go into the entry form group manager. It lists the groups that I have. If I click on one of the groups it's going to list the forms in that group. To move forms from one group to another I simply click on them, control click, go to cut, and in this case I want to move them to the operator forms group so I go ahead and click paste. Now those forms are in this group. If I want to create a new group, let's say lab forms, what I want to do is decide where I'm going to put it. This is a tree structure, so in this case I want to put it in the root. So I'm going to click on the root, click create group. I'm going to name my form or my group lab forms. And then I'm going to be able to go in here and select which users are going to be able to use that, the forms in that group. So Jim Bob can use them, Scott can use them. If I have a lot of users, we have a shortcut here to make things easier. So I can buy user type, such as manager. I can come in here and say they can use and design. It'll check off all my managers so that they can do that. Go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to move some forms into my lab group. So I'm going to go to monthly data entry and I see a lab data review form. I'm going to cut that, go to lab forms, paste it in there. Click yes. Go to custom data entry and I've got one called lab data. Again I'm going to cut it. Go back to my lab forms and click paste. Now I have those two forms in my lab forms group. Since custom data entry has no forms left in it, I might as well delete it. So I'm going to go ahead and click delete group. And yes, cleans up my menu a little bit. If I want to create a child, let's say I want to create a night shift for my operators, a group for them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the operator forms. And now when I click create group, I do night shift. I'm going to go all users can use and all managers again can use and design. Click OK and now that becomes a child of the operator forms. And here I want to move the midnight report data entry form from here down into the night shift. Okay so now what does this do for me? For the end user, if I click close and I go to data manager, data entry forms, now that same tree view shows up. If I click on the plus and go to night shift, I see that that's where that report or that form is. If I go to lab forms, I see just my lab forms. And again, it applies the access. I'm logged in as a super user, so I have all rights to all these forms. But again, if I didn't have rights to the lab forms group, it doesn't even show up on the tree view here. So it allows you to simplify the menu for users. Go ahead and click lab data review form, click open, and that form opens and I can continue to use it. So again, the group managers are used primarily to organize and secure your forms. The same is true for your reports, your graphs, and your logbooks. Thank you.